keep watching. Keep watching. You know how your life can take an unexpected turn? Like maybe you find something that wasn't ever meant to be found. That's what happened to me. A simple Polaroid camera that looked normal and seemed innocent enough, but the road it would take me down was far from normal. I took my first picture with it and was honestly pleased that this relic from my attic still functioned at all. But as the photo developed, something was off. The image fading in looked nothing like the photo I had just taken, so I tried it again. The image changed, but it still wasn't the photo I had just shot. I tried it over and over, same results. I even tried changing out the film. No matter what I did, the photos always came out different from what I shot. It seemed almost like the pictures were showing me what I desired or, or what I'd rather be doing. So I had my friend Brad come over so that I could show someone else this photographic anomaly, even if it was just to reassure myself that I wasn't losing my mind. I showed him the Polaroids and explained what had happened, but I could see right away that he didn't believe me. I wouldn't believe me either, and it was obvious he was going to have to see it for himself. And that was all it took. From that point on, we were on a mission. We had to discern if it was literally showing us what we were thinking about. Could we manipulate the outcomes? We tried visual stimuli first, and it worked. Then we thought, you know how you can smell a certain scent and it can trigger a memory? A memory that was long forgotten, like the smell of funnel cakes when the carnival came to town when you were a kid. But can we trigger our wants and desires that way too? It turns out we can. Then came the real test. We know this camera shows what we wish we were doing at the moment, but what happens when you photograph inanimate objects? Is consciousness a requirement in aiding the device's capabilities? And if that's the case, who's to say we didn't conjure this thing up completely from our minds to begin with? So we started researching online to see if anything like this has happened before, but came up empty-handed. That's when we decided to post about it on Reddit, just to see if we could find anyone who might have a shred of information on where this thing came from. You know, some cultures believed that a photograph could steal your soul, imprisoning you forever within the celluloid, or maybe more recently, within the pixels of an Insta selfie. I must have fallen asleep because when I woke up, camera was missing and Brad was nowhere to be found. Finally, I figured out why. Brad must have been messing around with the camera on his own, and this time, the camera produced something that was so terrifying, so unspeakable, that Brad vanished without a trace. I tried calling him to see if he was okay, but his phone went straight to voicemail, and he wouldn't reply to my text. And then, I received my first solid lead. The Reddit post had paid off because someone commented that I should visit Dr. Willard Jurek at Darkroom Labs. They said he's the foremost expert on film developing and image restoration. If anyone will know what to make of this, it's him. So I decided to finish this journey on my own. I made the 11 hour drive up to Lansing, Michigan, where the lab was located. This was the kind of thing someone had to see in person. When I finally found Dr. Jurek, he was very hesitant about even speaking to me. I explained everything in detail and showed him the photos, but I knew the only real proof was seeing the Polaroid at work with your own eyes. He said he'd make a few phone calls and be right back, but suddenly I couldn't help feeling like I'd made a mistake coming here. this camera I'm sorry am I being arrested no what branch of the government did you say you're with we didn't now what do you know about this camera well I found it in my attic and snapped a few pics realized it doesn't work like a normal camera it seems to show you your innermost desires have you told anyone else about this camera no so this wasn't your Reddit post stating, we found the most insane camera that prints out whatever you were thinking. Has anyone ever heard of anything like this? Any help would be greatly- Okay, okay, yes, that was me. But um, other than that, I didn't tell anyone else. And no one else has seen it working in person? No, just me. Well, and Dr. Yurik, if that's even his real name. And did you see any disturbing images come from this camera? 
No, just things we wanted to see. We? I, well, me, I mean I. Things I wanted. Okay. So that's it? I can just go? Yes. Yes, you can go just one more thing. What is it? What's happening? 